what is going on sheep army this your boy random arts coming with a quick video and on this video guys we're going to be talking about bone shiba swap token guys and why you guys should not be fooled by the price action of what is currently going on with bone so before i get into it guys you already know what to do make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button definitely love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinion about bone shiba swap token guys remember i said this let me pull up this video this was from two months ago before we even knew that bone or that shibarium was actually going to get launched i warned you guys as far as like what to expect and now i'm going to warn you guys again about something else that's about to happen and what you guys could potentially uh, see so that way you guys are not surprised and be savvy investors to be ahead of people who are just looking to moon bag or uh, have no clue what they're talking about within the crypto space so again this video is going to be for education so take it as you will um, even challenge me on it if you like uh, definitely love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinion within the comment section so this video again this was from two months ago and bone at the time was only at 88 cents um and it was constantly just going down i think it even went all the way back down to what like before it got down to like the 60s or the 70 cents and stuff like that um but yeah so let me play this video for you it's layer two blockchain so a lot of time people do get excited as far as what's gonna happen to bone but do you guys really have a plan as far as what happens after Shibarium launch. Because if Shibarium end up launching in a bear market, then the price action that most people are expecting typically don't happen because people typically have like a group mindset of, you know, one event happening and rarely does that mindset, you know, or that action that they think that, it, that it's gonna happen typically happens. But luckily guys, so here you have it guys i warned you guys two months ago just so that way you you could already you know put it in your mindset of how assets work or how things work and i've been preaching this again for the last eight or nine months we're in a bear market if we launch a barium this i mean this is actually just a, a retake of a statement that i said prior before and I'm continuing to say this so that way it could, you know, s someone would listen and say like, okay, it, it actually makes sense. Okay, we're in a bear market. Um, you know, Bitcoin's not doing so hot. Um, if Bitcoin's not doing so hot, then yeah, of course, Bone is not going to do hot as well too. So this video though is actually going to be focusing more on the reversal aspect of it because i think a reversal is going to be coming pretty soon for uh bitcoin and not only for bitcoin but for bone as well so right now is definitely the time that you guys should be able to be taking heed and to be able to make a plan as far as like where you're going to be getting that in on bone so that way you are not left you know with the surprise expression if you definitely be like uh you know what i'm tired of this let me just go ahead and get out and I also made this video too, guys, about, and, and they all go hand in hand together because if you understand what Bitcoin is doing, then you're going to understand what Bone is going to also do as well too. Um, I made this video three months ago. This is when Bitcoin was, uh, I think just, uh, it was around like 30 or 31,000 and it started having a little push down back to 20, uh, 25,000. So this was a time when everything was, you know getting to a bullish or just leaving a bullish sentiment um but this video only got 153 views guys so let's that's safe to say that a lot of people don't understand as far as like what is bitcoin's false bounce so in this video i'm gonna briefly just you know describe it to you guys in this one i went in depth it was actually 21 minutes um so i really went in depth as far as like what to look for but um if we take a quick look at Bitcoin, I'm going to try to do this real quick so we don't make this video too long. Um, normally, in each cycle, 
uh, um, in a bear cycle, Bitcoin is going to have like a false bounce. Like people are going to get extremely bullish and they're going to think like, hey, this is going to get back to all time highs. We're going to see 40. Like, remember all of this when Bitcoin was at around 30,000. And I was like, and eh. I even said it on Twitter. I was like, yeah, I think this is going to have a false bounce and it's going to have a retreat. And here we go. We had the bounce and we had the retreat. Now, the last cycle during that, you know, the retreat as far as Bitcoin uh, giving back the, these gains that it had, it actually gotten all the way down to its lows, you know. So the low at the time, I want to say for this, it, it did get like close to like 3000. So not saying that Bitcoin this time around is going to get back down to $15,000. But if it does, make sure you guys are not surprised because this is something that happened from cycle to cycle. It has a found it have a false bounce. Then it start retreating. And this is normally right close to when the bitcoin having is about to take place so it is going to have one last shake to be able to take some people out of their position unfortunately unfortunately last time i was one of the persons that got shake uh shooken out of my position and i sold three months right before the bitcoin having currently right now we're about seven months away from the having so don't be surprised within these last uh you know e between now and leading up to the Bitcoin having when it's about three or four months uh, to it that we may see another shaking. So I said all of that because if that happens, this is going to also affect the price of bone even further. So I know we got seeing at a dollar right now, but if bone, if you guys, if bone starts to get down, you know, to around 50 cents due to the fact that Bitcoin is dropping you know, below 20,000, would you guys be able to stomach that? You know, so that's something that you guys already got to play out in your mind. Like, am I going to be able to stomach volatility like this? But on the flip side too, guys, you know, after that bounce happened or that, uh, or the drop happened, this is what typically happens next, you know, let me get it and this is uh leading up to the having this was the uh the drop last time the next thing you know a few months into the having boom we just started seeing green candles after green candles then the blue line represent the having then from there it was off to the races same thing you're going to see for the next one it had this big drop right here um and even after the having it also had a, a, some more drop but then you had like consolidation, then boom, off to the races. This last time out, there goes the big drop. And this is where I got out at. You had the bounce. Then it's just green candles after green candles. So just be prepared, guys, um, and not be surprised if we because, again, this could very well just have like a, a bounce right here and they start going off to the races. But don't be surprised if we see 20 if we even see 15 and this is not to scare you guys or anything like that but i just want you guys to be prepared mentally in your mind because if you're not mentally prepared then you're gonna you're gonna trade or you're gonna invest off of pure emotion so what does all of this mean to bone so this is the big picture of it so that way you guys can understand bone as it stands right now is not the same bone that it was when it had these drops had these drops had these drops and the reason why it's not the same is because shibarium is here now there is a fundamental um, aspect of bone that was not present any of these drops right here and the reason being guys like i mentioned is because shibarium wasn't here there was no value for bone bone was just at these levels really in my opinion for no reason because it had no value whatsoever now that shibarium's here it's actually valuable so now you know we're able to see 25 million off of just you know staking from the validators and delegators 25 uh, million bone so once we start seeing positive volume on the way up then the price action of bone is going to start to have somewhat of a parabolic move as far as like it, you know, going up 
how slow it is this time around it's going to be a lot greater because less tokens are available um to be traded so this is why i want to see this like go ahead and you know keep going down because the more and more that this goes down more and more i think savvy investors are going to come in they're going to scoop them up and also start staking it over you know as delegators because you could now stake for a lot cheaper versus the amount that you were staking at these higher prices because now you're able to acquire the asset at a lower price so this is definitely going to be very very interesting to see in this next couple of months they're still building you still and we haven't even accounted now nodes because remember they have about three to four hundred uh businesses or um cryptos that want to actually integrate onto shibarium so once that happened that's going to be even more strain on the supply so more and more exciting stuff to come guys and we still haven't gotten the apy yet for bone um for De uh for being a delegator so just keep an eye out on all of this stuff guys so this video again just to be able to inform you guys what we could be expecting next as far as with this overall crypto market uh, again, if you haven't watched this video, very, very educational, under, so that way you can understand where we're at um, in this cycle of Bitcoin. But that's all I have for you today, guys. This is Random March signing off. Didn't want to make this video too long, but it looks like I did. But hey, again, guys, forgive me for making it too long. But signing off. Peace.